Now, just a few miles south of Ensenada on the uh, Trans Peninsular Highway, uh, and all surely this will be a uh, some hideous development, uh, much like uh, the rest of the garbage that constitutes uh, modern human society. But uh, here we are immersed in a, what is a very nice uh, chaparral ecosystem of uh, northern Baja California. And here's the genus Mara, uh, Cucurbitaceae, uh, with the seed pods and flowers, uh, as you can see. Uh, there's a lot of speciation in this in uh, both California and Baja California. In this genus, that's M-A-R-A-H. Over here we have a beautiful, uh, what appears to be a malacothamnus of some kind, a bush mallow, which is not yet flowering, but will later produce uh, beautiful uh, pink fruits. Over here we have uh, the lovely uh, chaparral ash, which uh, during most of the year looks like shit, uh, much like uh, many of us uh, from Chicago. But then uh, during flowering season in its prime, uh, it's a beautiful tree. Uh, flowers appear to be wind pollinated. And uh, you can see it right here. This, of course, is drought deciduous, meaning it loses its leaves in response to the uh, the hot, parched summer. Uh, over here we have uh, Aerodictyon crassif, uh, cessilifolium, excuse me. Right over here. Oh, Aesculus perii, the uh, dwarf buckeye. Often seen growing in the company of very large uh, cardon cacti uh, further south. This is Aerodictyon cessilifolium, right here, very glandular, uh, smells wonderful, Baraginaceae is the family. It kind of has a, a strange candelabra-esque shape. Uh, also further up here, oh look at this, sugar bush in flower, a species of roost in the sumac family. Same family, Anacardiaceae, same family as uh, the poison oak. Uh, this is always a favorite, Artemisia californica. Uh, it's an aster, but it's uh, a close relative of Great Basin sagebrush, which of course uh, smells rather delightful. This itself is a very rare one, Ornithostaphylos uh, oppositifolia. It's uh, an Ericaceae. It's got very smooth leaves with the white abaxial surfaces. See the abaxial surfaces? See it? The undersides? Unfortunately, it's not in flower. It's a, a close relative of uh, the manzanitas, which of course uh, are ubiquitous uh, and have experienced the rapid radiation in much of California. Another ornithostaphylos. The Baja birdbush. Now why it's important to document all of this is because it's probably going to be gone uh, in, uh, as soon as a decade or two and replaced with uh, much of the, the hideous retail infrastructure that one can see uh, traversing further north uh, on the way to Ensenada. I saw a very hideous uh, retail strip mall. They had a Costco and a Starbucks and a bunch of the other uh, things that make one feel a, a sense of futility and death uh, when uh, immersed in them, or, you know, even just going into the parking lot or viewing it from a street as you pass it uh, on the uh, main road. Let's see what else is up here. Here is an uncommon member of uh, the, the citrus family, Rupaceae. This is Telea aptera. Now that's uh, Telea spelled Petelea, P-T-E-L-E-A. Look at those uh, trifoliate leaves, which are so nice. More ornithostaphylos. Very glabrous, uh, shiny foliage. And of course, uh, Aesculus perii, a buckeye which never tops out at more than six feet. And uh, forms a thick underground uh, root system, uh, almost a caudex. Uh, Melosma lorina. Another sumac endemic, uh, or not, excuse me, endemic. Another sumac... Uh, that uh, thrives in arid environments in the deserts. More Malacothamnus, and of course some Baccarus. See and note this? Of course this whole uh, environment is adapted to uh, intermittent fire. So it's got a fire regime and a lot of these plants will sprout in response to fire. You know, much like uh, 
say a landlord wants to collect insurance money on a building that's not doing so well and the tenants are kind of a pain in the ass anyway, he will set fire uh, to the building and uh, in hopes of collecting uh, some insurance money and also ridding himself of uh, troublesome tenants. Very common in uh, the Cook County area. Look at this lovely area of Dictyon. Cecilifolium, so-called because it's sessile, lacking a petiole. Again, very uh, glandular, a.k.a. sticky. Smells lovely. Moving right along, here we've encountered a flowering specimen of Ornithostaphylos, again with those lovely white abaxial leaf surfaces. Now, this is an Ericaceae, a blueberry slash heath family, and a, in staying in a consistency, a morphological uh, apomorphy for the family, you can see that the flowers uh, resemble urns, uh, basically a, a, a all fused petals, many of these uh, these uh, flowers, not sure if this one is the same, but many of them are buzz pollinated, meaning that bees get up in there and uh, buzz their, their wings around and uh, thereby collect pollen and then uh, and then move on to the next flower. But they, uh, flies and pollinators and bees will actually go up uh, inside that flower. But it's, it's a real treat to see one of these flowering. This whole family has flowers like this, madrones, blueberries, uh, cranberries, manzanitas, even some of the achlorophyllous, the non-chlorophyll producing uh, monotropoid uh, mycoheterotroph parasites, which is a whole nother uh, sub, uh, subfamily in this family that uh, doesn't produce any chlorophyll, is not green, often has a lot of lovely pinks and purples and blues in it, and uh, parasitizes fungi in the ground, they'd, they'd be in the ground. Look at the leaves on this Mara, the man root. These can also have enormous roots, often the size of a, a corpse, you know? Like if you were to cor put a corpse in the, in the trunk of your Buick, it would resemble a, a Mara root. What a lovely little facilia we have here. Boraginaceae, as one could tell from uh, the hairy stems and the fused uh, the nice little fused uh, petals over there. And this, of course, is a Xylococcus, another ericoid. Xylococcus bicolor, which uh, does not have the uh, lovely abaxial leaf surfaces of uh, Ornithostaphylos, but does uh, still have, of course, the uh, white urn-shaped flowers, if I can see. I don't know, maybe it's not here. I don't think I see any here. And this is another fire-adapted plant. Oh, there's a, one of those flowers right here. What a lovely landscape, huh? Even the Mara's kind of pretty. Just covered in cucurbit flowers. It, now, I might find it interesting to note that on this beautiful hillside, it, looking out the, uh, of Mar Maritime Chaparral, looking out over the Trans Peninsula Highway, it what appears to be a, a huge garbage dump, uh, along with some Malos Molarina, uh, the Sumac family, are some of the largest uh, uh, blonde morels I've ever seen, Morcella Rufo Brunea. And here's uh, some more little tiny ones coming up at the base of this uh, Melosma right here. Isn't that nice? I think we're going to take this and it may be cooked them tonight, even though it uh, might uh, be slightly toxic with all the uh, plastic trees.